Hi everyone, it's Julie here. Thanks for joining me. I've been on a project doing 100 uh, days of fluid art and 100 styles and or different uh, variations. And I've never done a, a spin swipe, a bloom spin swipe. So that's what I'm doing here today. My base is uh, as a house paint. It's a British Paints Low Sheen, uh, which I've got tinted black. I think it's an ultra bright base. And I tried a black base once before that didn't really work so well. This one seemed to be okay. Um, I haven't added anything to it. So here is my palette knife. I've put the Cell Activator, which is the Amsterdam Lamp Black and a Strand Flow Troll on the base. And I'm layering um, some pigments. Uh, I'll show you the colours of those in the uh, the next run. So you notice that I'm using a square edged palette knife and I decided that that was actually not the best shape and certainly my first attempt here with a loaded palette it was I didn't do a great job of keeping keeping it flat and I felt that the um, sharp edge was digging in as I was spinning it around. So I decided to to go again and in this case, you'll see that I've um, done a puddle pour and, um, and then just put the cell activator on the palette knife. Yeah, so that first, first color was the Color Art uh, Mermaid Scales, which is a lovely color. And then I've got my two, two TLP, Comet and Macaw, which work really well together. Putting the cell activator on my palette knife. I think probably what made this slightly easier, even though I've still got the square palette knife, was just focusing on the spin and not not so much about the loaded palette. It's hard to see at this stage, but the the pigments and colours are are really lovely. So because I'd done it, didn't get out very far with my colours. Uh, I've ended up spinning this quite a lot to help the where the colour is to move out move out further, and it was was good. My my cells stayed intact. They didn't I didn't lose my cell shape as it's as it spun out, um, which is probably a combination. Which may be because of the the base was so much thicker, so it was holding it. I'm not sure. The, um, this, this piece really reminds me of sort of mother of pearl, sort of oyster shell. It's, it's just got those beautiful um, greens and pinks and slightly violet tones to it, really sort of pale colours. Uh, and I really, I really love it. Um, when I, I'm sure when I resonate it, it's just going to pop even more. Overall, I was pretty happy despite the difficulty getting out. I was pretty happy with my first um, spin swipe.
another go um, and I've just changed up the color palette uh, slightly I haven't got the mermaid scales and I have added um, a couple of other other ones to it this um, this sequins I've used before and at the time I was thinking that it gave a real purple tone but I think it was just the mixture of colors it's very pink that, that sequins um, that just an interference color well, now I'm using the TLP seaweed uh, and I think I put that in because I'd used it recently and it was just a really lovely um, not bright green a sort of a, a much more earthy green but it had a really lovely gold hue to it and of course I've got the Comet again which has a really lovely I don't know how to describe peachy pinky sort of tone to it in terms of the reflection from the interference pigments <music>that I've done these in um, in sort of round lines thinking that I may get some pattern with that and uh, with the and quite a lot of the macaw on top which um, I really loved in the other one and I decided to, um, to put that around the around the edge as well so I have changed up the palette knife here um, it's still not the ideal shape, perfect shape, but it's got the pointed end, which I think is really useful so that you can actually um, have that starting in the center of the circle and as you're moving out, and it's got more rounded edges, which I think is better for this technique. So I still need to um, practice and perfect this, this technique. It's a bit about you trying to remember to do so many things, which is keeping it level, spinning it, and then trying to move it out as well. And I think next time I'd even use more pigment. I feel like I haven't, um, I haven't pushed hard enough at first, but it's been hard to spread it out. But I do like the, the different patterns that it creates due to the, um, the spin nature of it. This um, is slightly off center in the um, on the on the cake turner, and that is um, adding to that shape being elongated more on one side, and I quite like that. So again, it looks reminds me more of a sort of shell shape, a oyster shell shape. And in fact, off camera later, I even tilted it a bit more. Um, even more to get that, uh, keep that sort of, keep that shape. the colors in the pigments later on when it's both dry and and resin which I'll show you dry results a lot of air bubbles there I think next time I might also put a little bit of GAC or some 800 or something in the in the base paint but the colors are really really gorgeous even now so here they are resined
sharing the journey of fluid art. It's an exciting journey and thanks for your support and interest. Please uh, like and subscribe so that you can continue to see more. Thank you.